everyone again. So the next topic that we're going to discuss is all about the MS2 learning episode 3, which is the understanding AR or concept, processes, and models. So what do you think is AR na What is AR? What is AR? So based from the past lessons that we have recently, Karina, what do you think is all about the action research? Agent. Action research is it is the data gathering for it. You can collect data which with facts information. Fact information. Okay, thank you, Angel. Who else? What is action research all about? I.e. Action research. It has a systematic process. Okay, thank you. So before we continue this, I know that you have all your book with you, Tama ba? Yes, ma! Since our topic is um, about models, you can open your book from page um, 18 to 23. Okay na po ba? Ready na? So, action research, sabi nga nila kanina, it is type of inquiry that is practical as it involves making changes to practice. It is also theoretical as it formed by theory and can generate new insights, concern with change and improvement. Gaya ng mga sinabi ng unang reporter kanina, action research is about searching or um, what do you call this? Looking for a problem that we can make a solution for the for, for that kind of problem. And with that problem, nakakagaw tayo ng isang way or ng isang solution to address that um, kakulangan or kung, gusto, kung anong gusto mong improve sa iyong class or sa mga ginagawa mo or sa plan ng curriculum. Okay ba? So, here are some questions that answers and answers that you need to know in doing the action research. So first, what are the core characteristics of action research by Pitchen 2015? So first is thematic. Like any form of research, it follows a system. Ang action research po ay my process. Second, rigorous. It has rigor, meaning a strict adherence to the Rules of Empirical Studies Meaning My rules po sinusunda ng paggawa ng research Third, reflective and it follows a continuous reflection of action Habang gumagawa po tayo ng action research ay dapat nag-reflect po tayo sa mga nilalagay para uh, tama po at maayos for situational, it's more specific to the situation or the, kunwari, ang um, action research kasi is nakafocus sa school. So, um, ang ating situ um, situation ay dapat nakafocus din sa rooms or sa mga ginagawa sa school. Fifth part, participative. Action research can be participative where leader, teachers and learners are co-researchers. Diba nakafocus ito sa room, so dapat ang uh, ating mga respondents ay uh, mismo teacher and uh, mga students. And lastly, future-oriented. It seeks solutions to the current problem for future improvement. Sabi nga niya, Angelica ay nagahanap tayo ng problem, ay, na problem, so dapat may solution para sa future. Next. Okay, next. What is action research useful? To me as a teacher researcher. First, AR can help me learn how to do my practice as a teacher in terms of teaching methods, classroom management, preparation of the learning environment, developing instructional materials, and assessment. It can also help me learn more about a wider range of research methods that I can use in the future. So kapag sa AR, hindi lang yung mga existing na methods yung mga nagagamit. Kailangan, kailangan din may explore na sa ganun ay um, mas maintindihan natin yung mga ginagawa natin. AR can provide me more space to think deeply about the issues that confront teaching and learning. It can help me engage with my mentor and peers to enable me to improve my teaching practices through action research and 
can help me develop new knowledge with which is directly related to my area of expression. So, here is the number three that we need to, I, the questions and answer that we need to know in doing the AR. For the third is what type of classroom action studies that I can that can I engage in? So the first here is creating changes in the classroom practices. For example, what changes will daily writing have on my students? What do you think is the best example for this as a educational um, future educa education? So, creating changes in classroom practices. When you are teaching inside the classroom, kailangan hindi pa ulit ulit yung pinapagawa mo sa kanila. You should not do uh, the same thing sa buong linggo. Dapat pa iba, -iba for that your student magkaroon sila ng um, bagong knowledge or maging mas participative sila. Another is establishing the effects of curriculum restructuring. For example, what this is, will the use of modern tongue enhance the learning skill of my learners? Kung napapansin nyo sa ibang barangay, they're using Ilocano. Maski sa mathematics. Na, napansin nyo na po ba yun? O, sa ibang school, meron din ginagamit nila yung mother tongue nila sa pag-explain, sa pagbabasa, and of course, sa, pag, um, sa pagbigay ng solution sa mga mathematic problems. Kung nag-try nyo na punta sa ibang um, schools. Another is enhancing your understanding of learners. Example, what happens when students get demotivated? Diba sinasabi natin, pag hindi motivated yung students mo, sa pagtuturo mo, makawalan sila ng gana, hindi nila maunawahan what is the topic all about. Kayo ba? Natatry nyo ba ngayon? I guess not. <laughs> yeah. So dapat, uh, binibig tayong mga teacher or future teacher, tayo yung nagiging dahil para mas maging motivated yung student natin, hindi maging demotivated. And the last one is, teaching a new process to, to the student. For example, how can I teach third graders to do reflection? Sa tingin nyo ba, yung mga grade 3 students ninyo, gagawa sila ng essay or reflection na isang buong bond paper na exercise? Pick them. So, how, how, how can you give them the activity by doing the reflection? Maybe gumawa tayo ng white room. And then, din naman kaya, for example, is let them to draw, a draw, to draw that corresponds to that reflection and afterwards, pagunta yung sila sa harap and then di ba explain mo what is the drawing all of them. So, that is the three question and answer that you need to know in doing the AR. Turn your book on page 22. That's why makikita kayo yung cycle. Yung pinaka-first cycle ay high, active, and white head. 2006 for adaptation na models and guide in conducting action research. So first, observe. Dapat i-observe muna sa room kung ano ang problema, kung saan mag-focus ang problem na um, ginawa mo, at kung saan na humuha ng theories at literature na naka-align sa action research topic. Next, reflect. Reflect. Reflection continue all throughout the process. Um, dito, dapat i-reflect na natin sa sarili natin kung ano ba yung gusto natin ma-achieve at kung ano ba yung gustong baguhin. Next, the plan. Ito na yung plan na magpa-plano kung ano uh, ilalagay sa mismo action research. And next, uh, take action. First, how do I put my plan into an action? Paano ko may sasagotuparan or may i-act ang gusto kong malabas yung sa research? At paano ba mag-gather ng data? Di ba may iba't iba tayong paraan ng mag-gather ng data? Magbigay na isa ay Stephen. Stephen? Stephen, paano ka mag magbigay ng paraan ng mag-gather ng data?
Next, you qualify. Move to another cycle, which is mag-book na tayo sa Nelson 2014 model. Una, observe ulit.
present sa mga session. Tapos, can I collaborate, collaborate with other teachers to continue or replicate my study? Parang yung ano, research ni Ma'am yung nagtuloy ng research. Di ba ang mga yun hindi ko tuloy pa rin? And last references. What reading materials and references are included in my review of literature? So, all in all, kaninong um, model yung pinaka gusto nyo? Next one. Next one. Are both action research process about are supported by the two AR or yung sa mga action research models sa next page or sa last page natin which is page number 2022. So dito nakalagay sa figure 1 is yung kay Matrix and White yung sinabi nila kanina pero wala yung final sa 2014 ay meron pala so yan na yung pinagkaiba ng action research cycle nila natanggal yung modify and Evaluate by Nelson Old 2014. So that is all about our topic for today.